can see by the conversations we have when we go abroad to speak with intelligent people that would like to help us that we ask for bread instead of keys God give us gatekeepers that have your wisdom come on lift up your hands and receive wisdom tonight in the name of Jesus Lord release wisdom in this place we spend most of our lives to meet our needs but we need keys to be liberated we're always at the altar praying for scholarship not knowing you can pay fees for a whole nation if you have the right keys Daddy, I was telling them earlier, in my meeting on Monday, one of the people attending is the policy director for Google for the entire Africa. Google has just re released a billion dollars. And there's a way these people release money that is almost silly. Not too hard to get. But we don't think that those are things we can take advantage of as a young generation. We can instead of being on Instagram, checking how that weave of that sister today is looking, you should be doing research. I don't understand. Please, please, just hear me as I get keeper. I don't understand how you can spend six straight hours looking at people's faces and how they dressed for today. You have two assets in life, time and energy. Say with me, we don't have time. Two assets. You need to get upset. I'll tell you the problem. You're not angry enough about where you are. But tonight, I want to talk to some angry people. I want to hear you say, Nimekasirika. You need to get upset about where you are to be able to move from there. You cannot spend, you should be doing the research to find out where are these people and what are they saying. What's the language I need to be ready with? The favor of the Lord will open the door. In fact, I see as though heaven is frustrated saying, I opened the floodgates. You're still seeing it. Open the floodgates of heaven. God is saying, it is raining. It is pouring. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's all over. And I don't believe he's making any other keys. He finished. On the cross, he said, it is finished. He didn't say, I am finished. He said, it, the assignment is finished. So I'm giving you the keys. He has finished. All the keys that we need are here on earth. And he gave us the authority of those keys that they are so powerful that what we bind here, there's an agreement in heaven that it's also bound there. Oh, glory be to God. key or the bread. So how should I behave in the marketplace? Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Today I'm doing my best to stay very sane. You all know I can preach. I'm doing my very best to stay here. Very best. Not because, Pastor Percy, I don't want to give us a good close, but I want to make sure we have made sense. Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its ideas and its new attitudes. Your mind is changing in the name of Jesus. It says in the message, don't become so well adjusted to your culture. What we are doing here these days that we've been here as Inuka, we are trying to change your culture. And we are trying to tell you the kingdom has a culture. So that you don't live here and say, as Luos, we don't do that. No, you're not a Luo. You're a kingdom citizen. You changed. The culture has to change. The way of thinking has to change. You can't say our women, our, our, our men don't go to the kitchen. No, 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 not in the kingdom. There's a way we sit. There's a way we walk. And there's a way we stand. In this kingdom, we wash dishes. Even as men. Oh, they're not on this side. In this kingdom, we know how to peel potatoes as men. I may not know how to fry them, but I'll help you peel them. I thought, sisters, you'll support me. In this kingdom, we collaborate. He says, I will make for you a helper, a helpmate. It means if you're receiving help, she found you doing it. 
So she came to help you wash the dishes. <laughs> Brothers will not tithe tonight. But in the name of Jesus, we have to change the culture. This kingdom has a culture. There's a way we dress. There's a way we talk. There's a way we look. And that's why I was saying earlier, the days of saying, that's a Muslim, that's a Hindu, I can identify them. A time has come, we're going to identify Christians. I'll be able to say, that's a believer. There's a way they are sitting. There's a way they are talking. There's a way they are walking. That's a believer. Glory be to God. And let me tell you something, a testimony. It has begun. The kind of great reports I'm hearing in companies, something has started to change among believers. Something has begun to happen. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, it has begun. He says, behold, I send you forth as sheep. Oh, what? In midst of wolves, therefore, be wise as serpents. Let me tell you something. If there's a scripture that has ever helped a group of us, it is this one. Harmless as doves. We took time to study the serpent. Look at sheep among wolves. Sheep are simple. They are naive. Very gullible. They come into the market. <laughs> they find brothers. They find brothers. Actually, they don't find brothers. They find brothers. Hey, hey. When they come into the marketplace, they find people that are ready to carry them like the wind. When brothers come, they find the real sisters there. Yeah? Your sister here, you are used to, 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 to nice... Hey, hey. They are waiting. Wolves are wild. They are hostile. They are vicious. Dog eat dog. And God is saying, I'm sending you there. Because I know I've given you the equipment you need to survive in that place. I've given Joy what she needs to survive in politics. Let me tell you, out there you will grow. You will grow. By God, you will grow. You will begin to understand that you can have lunch with people who are taking alcohol and still be saved. You know, there are some of you who are allergic to smokers. Let me tell you, <laughs> where God is sending you, they're even smoking the cigar. The one that you can't even see whether you are coming or going. You will cough, <laughs> but you will perform. You will learn how to have a kingdom. You think, you think Daniel was sitting with believers? He was sitting with smart men. Speaking in various languages. Understanding infrastructure complications. Understanding that there's a bridge in eastern Persia that had come down. And needed the top five engineers to be sent. He understood budget and financial matters. And was able to advise a king until a king would say, this is good advice. But those people he was sitting with were still eating their enemies. But he was sitting there. They were still eating, their, drinking their choice wine, which they have mixed with the blood of the enemies. But Daniel did not say, I cannot mix with people like this. He sat there. I'm talking about gatekeepers. Last night, daddy said, pray for them. It's dog eat dog out there. And if you study Daniel, they kept trying to replace him. They kept trying to put him in trouble. They kept putting decrees so that he can be removed. It is tough to be there alone. It's tough to be the odd one out. One time I met with, by, in all humility, I met with uh, uh, one of the wealthiest people in the world. And he asked me, so you're a, so you're a priest. You should have seen the look on his face. Ridicule. I felt very small. I read your profile. I was told you're a priest. Why are you a priest? Hey. English left. <laughs> Richest man in the world. Ask me why are you a priest. Let me tell you. I never answered him. I forgot what to say. It caught me unaware. I didn't know he had done his research. He said, Why are you a priest? 
All the verses were coming when I was in the car. But when he asked me, nothing was coming to my mind. It's intimidating. It's intimidating. When you sit in a boardroom and they look at you in an interesting way. And they say, I don't know if we should crack this joke while Julian is here. It's intimidating. That they'll probably say in that state house, you know, while as long as Irene is here, you people, let's not... Uh, no, listen. Go there and become like a dove. I'll show like a, like a, like a, like a, like a serpent. Let me show you what that means. Let's go. Shall we go? I'm almost done. God has sent the church into the marketplace. Sheep in wolves' territory are vulnerable. I'm telling you right now, they are vulnerable. They are vulnerable. They are fearful. They are food for wolves. The guys out there are like girls from church. I'm just telling you. Did you guys have grown up here? Wait. Wait, you go. <laughs> Shetani won't be Tetemekai. Shetani will come with some cool glasses and say, Hey, baby, what you doing tonight? And they like to conquer you. Me, I don't date men like you. Yeah? Let me tell you, they'll keep coming. They have this bravado, which our church brothers don't seem to have. They have this thing, this thing of coming. Even if you say no, they are coming. And before you know it, you say, okay, let's go where you want us to go. Let me tell you, they are waiting. You are food for wolves. And you can be attacked anytime. Just when you thought you had success over Steve, here comes John. The sheep's greatest need is their shepherd. And so when daddy was telling us last night about Esther, it's because I can only imagine, listen, winning doesn't necessarily mean people are celebrating you. They want you out as soon as you are in. Go, oh God. Are you catching something? I'm trying to make a case for gatekeepers that you have to learn to pray for them sincerely as we were taught yesterday. You have to learn to pick up the phone and check on them. Some of them are in very vulnerable places. Very. So you must become wise as a serpent. What is wise? Some questions were asked today. Wise is the word phronimos. Thoughtful. Discreet. There are certain characteristics of a serpent. It means it can camouflage. It can get involved without compromising, without conforming to your environment. That's what Joy was trying to tell us earlier. That I can sit with these guys, let them drink their tasker, but at the end of the day, I'm using a key. I'll get what I want. And I saw some of you looking at her judge, judgmentally. Where Joy, where we? I saw you SMS in your sister's Kesha Leo. Vitu zimekuwa hot. <laughs> no. Some of these things, you don't understand. Some of the places, some of these people are going, they need to camouflage. They have to camouflage. You, you don't go announcing over there. Bona asifiwe. I come from Deliverance Church, Donham. And I've arrived to change things. No. Relax. Calm your horses. God is going to do something through you, but you have to learn to go for lunch with people that don't like you or people that don't agree with you. You have to learn. That's why I don't understand why you leave the church. This is practice ground. We come here, we talk about you. We are giving you practice. <laughs> we backstab you, but we backstab you with a small pen knife. There you'll be backstabbed with a panga. We're just doing, we're just doing a little practice because I promise you, where you're going, they are waiting. Somebody shout camouflage. Yes. One of the best ways to get some of the deals you're looking for is to camouflage. Amen. You don't go shouting who you are. That's one of the things that the snake does. It gets involved without conforming to the environment. You don't conform. 
but you get involved. Number two, influence. Quietly present and impactful. You're there, but you're causing impact without making noise. This is wisdom. Being wise as a serpent. Look at what it does. It studies its prey for a while, then it strikes. One person called me and said, Dad, I've just started this job. One week, one week, one week. I've started this job. I want you to join me in fasting and prayer. There's a person I want to pray out. I said, keep quiet. Oh. We've been praying for you to get a job for one year. Can you sit down and shut up? Be quiet. Study them. Observe how they do things. I asked her one question. How long have they been there? For 15 years. I said, keep quiet and learn from them. What are you coming here? You want to quit and then you come again. I have to lay hands on Ah, oh, Come on. You're also wasting my hands. You're wasting my favor and my anointing. Stay there. It's going to pay the rent or the mortgage. It will pay the fees. Stay there. Look at your neighbor. Say, stay there. You want to learn how to be a gatekeeper? You have to have stamina to stay. You also have to captivate. That's what the serpent does. It's able to captivate, mesmerize, and then strike. Kutisha tisha. You don't see where I'm going. You don't see what I'm doing. But as God is plotting, something is happening in the place. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are going to receive revelation. Listen, the promotion will come from God. But there's a way he's going to cause you to move that will cause the people to be mesmerized. And at the right meeting, you'll open your mouth and they'll wonder who you are. Why? Because God has been hiding you for such a time as this. The wisdom that will come from you. Could it be? Could it be that you had been kept for such a time as this? I keep saying the, 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 the people talking about you in church, that one is it's nice. I call it standard one gossip. There are people who gossip even about your grandmother. You wait, you get out there. I'm not saying the marketplace is that wicked, but it is a dog eat dog. That's a guarantee from the Bible. Number six, number five, stretch. You have to learn to stretch. And number six, relevance. You shed off your skin. That is one of the things the serpent does. It sheds off skin. And it gets new skin. It means as I watch this organization, I'm preparing myself as a gatekeeper. If I'm going to use these keys, I have to be able to utilize them well. Well, God, what do you want us to do tonight? I'm trying to give you application understanding. Because without application, I'll just give you a good message, but you won't know how to apply. You have to shed your skin. That means you have to change your thinking. I'll tell you, some of the people I kept and moved on with and i've seen them being kept people who are kept by companies when companies are making decisions who to lay off if you want to be a gatekeeper that will not be considered for layoff learn to shed your skin learn to become relevant to the person god has sent you to learn to see the thing that needs to be changed and begin to change it before the time of change comes this is one of the advantages you have from the kingdom of God in that you have seers, you have prophets, you have people you can take advantage of and most importantly, you have Holy Spirit. So you're already at an advantage in a disadvantaged place. So take advantage of that and you will see that those people, every time they think of layoffs, you will not be on the list because they'll say, this one is too valuable. Make yourself an asset to the system. The system wants to work itself against you, but make yourself an asset to the system. Amen? I'm almost done. Innocent as doves. I won't spend too much time with that, but meek. Being meek, it doesn't mean you're powerless. It means you have controlled strength. Controlled power. You don't have to use it all the time. Husbands, you don't have to use power all the time. Do you know who I am? One of the silly mistakes I made one of the silly mistakes I made when I was a young husband, one day I went home. It was almost six months. Daddy had just ordained me um, before the main ordaining. 